I can go see cows. Come on then. Una's two and a half. Let's go that way. She's very determined. That's the word that everyone says. A very determined young lady. Cow. Cow. And I think that's what's got Una to where she is now. Whilst I was still pregnant, um, we got some bad news at one of our scans that Una, Una's kidneys looked like they weren't going to work and that um, she probably was not going to survive for more than a couple of days after birth. Lots of emotions, obviously, like the world that you're trying to create is, is ending before it starts. We'd already made a plan with Martin House to go there for palliative care. And then suddenly, I think it was day five or something, Una had a massive wee out of the blue, massive wee. So that's when um, we ended up going back into Leeds. From there, she was then on dialysis. So that meant that that created some stability. We were told that um, transplant would be possible. Una was, was, was very small, very young when she came to the discussion about transplant. Um, and for, for small children, babies, they don't have the same number of options. So for tr kidney transplantation, your kidney can come either from a live donor or a deceased donor. And also those transplants are done yeah. on an emergency basis, sometimes in the middle of the yeah. night, whilst for a, a, an intricate, complex transplant for Una, it needs to be entirely planned. <laughs> Thank you, Una. When we know that there's going to be challenges in transplant, we set up something called a simultaneous transplant where the donor operation happens alongside the recipient operation. So what that means is, is that you can assess surgically whether um, Una could have the transplant before physically removing it from dad. It's remarkable when you can have such confidence in the people that you put in your life in their hands. Yeah, we feel very, very fortunate to have a hospital in Leeds, which is only an hour away. Una started life where the prognosis was in days to weeks. Um, and now, Una, we're talking about her integrating into school and the next stages of it, and um, really without that ceiling anymore of illness. Una is a, is a fantastic example of really um, what can be achieved um, through modern day therapies in renal transplant. There's only a handful of centres um, that offer paediatric kidney transplantation. So it's very important that that service had to be available locally um, for all children. Before transplants to that size was offered, some of these children would have just never got to transplant. A new hospital with that in mind allows us to develop our programme and evolve it in the future. A new hospital would uh, be amazing just to have the, you know, the facilities that child-centred, uh, the people around, everything just being geared more towards the children, it would be incredible. Mm -hmm.